The differences between the first gen and second gen Nest Protect. The Nest Protect Smart Smoke Alarm is on its second generation. And if you're not sure which model you have, there are a few things you can do to find out, as well as some significant features that separate the two different versions. Unfortunately, Nest doesn't print first generation or second generation on the packaging or on the device itself. So you have to look for other cues instead. Luckily, there are plenty of them. Nest has a support page for just this thing, but essentially you can look at the design of the Nest Protect itself to determine what version it is. Things like the shape of the alarm, the mounting plate, the added battery door, etc., are all things that are different between the first and second generation Nest Protects. You can also just quickly glance at the serial number. If it starts with a 05, you have a first generation Protect. And if it starts with a 06, you have a second generation model. Perhaps one of the most significant improvements the second generation Nest Protect has over the previous generation is its split spectrum sensor, as Nest calls it. There are two types of smoke sensors that you'll find in any smoke alarm, photoelectric and ionization. Each detects different types of fires. Some smoke alarms come with one or the other, while others come with both types of sensors. The first generation Nest Protect has a basic photoelectric sensor. The second generation model still only has a photoelectric sensor. But Nest says that it's greatly improved so that it can detect other types of fires that ionization sensors normally detect. Getting rid of the need to have two separate sensors. Smoke alarms have smoke chambers that cover and protect the smoke sensors to a certain degree. However, many are still prone to letting in small bugs or fibers that can accidentally trip the smoke sensor and create false alarms. Nest says that the smoke chamber in the second generation Protect has a much better design than the previous generation, which prevents bugs, tiny fibers, and dust particles from tripping the sensor. This should result in fewer false alarms with the second generation model. Everyone should test their smoke alarms every few months, but the second generation Nest Protect can do a lot of the work for you by self-testing its speaker and siren. The process involves the Nest Protect emitting a short sound and listening to itself with its built-in microphone to confirm that both the speaker and the siren are working. Better yet, you can choose when this happens every month, like during the middle of the day rather than in the middle of the night. You should still run a regular safety checkup every few months. Though, that tests everything, not just the speaker and siren. You can do this by pressing the button on the Protect. If you have a second generation model, you can also run the checkup from within the app. And that brings us to the final significant difference between the two models. While both generations let you manage your Nest Protect from the Nest app on your phone, you have a couple more options for controlling your second generation Nest Protect. In addition to being able to run a safety checkup right from your phone, instead of having to press the button on the device itself, you also can silence the alarm directly from the app. This is perhaps one of the more convenient features you'll find on the newer model, especially if you tend to set off your alarm when cooking dinner. Of course, you can also silence the alarm manually by pressing the button on the protect. Text source, howtogeek.com.